everyone knows he was going to miss it. Were you able to see what happened, the way he kind of – was that – it looked like Patrick kind of just didn't get a full body on him. Were you able to see what happened exactly? I think it's two things, Joe. One is it's a clear violation. Unequivocally, he's crossing the line on the basket before the ball there touches the rim. That's the first thing. Unfortunately, we can't control that, right. you know, and we got to control what we can control. So, you know, in that situation, um, we got to come across and get the shooter. You know, you're man on man. Obviously, when they brought Lopez in there, you figured that there's probably a good likelihood they're going to try to miss. You just don't know how. Is it going to be a high shot? They could try to throw it hard off the glass. And he just shot it and, you know, really kind of beat Patrick. And I think part of the reason why he beat it, Patrick is he went in there too early. But listen, in that situation, we got to find a way to come up with the ball, you know, in that situation without question. I mean, it's not a surprise he can score in bunches. That fourth quarter, it just seemed that both teams were playing high-level offense. I mean, it was, it was good defense being played. It just seemed like guys were just making shots and no one could stop each other. When you see a guy that's just going like that, I mean, I saw you try different guys, Caruso, and then he fouled out I.O. for a little bit. I mean, what as a coach, what can you do when a guy like him has it going? And, you know, and the defense seemed to be pretty contested. Yeah, you know, I, I listen, we, we threw Alex on him. He got four fouls. Um, I.O. had four fouls. We put D.J. on him for some length. We were trapping him. He went around our traps. He made some tough shots. But I think the biggest thing is, I don't know what it ended up being, you know, for the game, but, um, you know, it's 25 free throws. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's where it is. It was like our help was constantly fouling, fouling, fouling. And you can't foul. I mean, you put a guy to a line. And I think for them as a team, I don't know what the differential was. We got, they got there 45 times to our 34. The fouling was a major, major contributor to his points. And listen, he had an unbelievable game. It was an incredible performance. I give him a lot of credit. He made a lot of tough shots. But I also think we contributed to some of it with the fouling. Right. That, the overtime... It's good basketball because Io is open, Patrick is open in the corner, Io is open for a second time in the corner, but at the same time, would you like to see stars be stars in that moment and not let guys that might not have that track record or understand that moment have to take those shots or, or you just want to see... Hey, if it's open, you got to take it. Yeah, you know, I think just one of the things what ends up happening in those situations, I think, is when they send the crowd, the biggest, like, uh, the biggest question is, would you rather have your best player take a really heavily contested shot mm -hmm. or would you rather have someone else on the team take a wide open shot? Patrick's a 40% three-point shooter. Right. Isle's been pretty good. You know, for me, I think, the, you know, if, if, if teams are going to load up on Zach and DeMar and they're not going to be willing passers, it's going to be very, very hard to rely on them to make degree of difficulty shots. Certainly, Zach, I thought, was trying to get downhill, so was DeMar. Guys are trying to get there, but as they bring a crowd, you know, we got to throw the ball out. And I thought the difference in the game was, you know, DeMar got to the free throw line, but we clearly didn't get to the free throw line as much as Mitchell. That was a big issue. What do you think? Obviously, you're going to go watch the film, but the third quarter, to have that lead and then have it just kind of just chip away, chip away, chip away, what was your take on it was, a, I think, a 44-point quarter, and um, we started the first two possessions and fouled. I mean, we got him in the bonus the whole entire time, and um, you know, we we got to be better. And I, th I thought, you know, quite honestly, in the game, you knew they were going to come out. They ramped up their 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 pressure. I thought we could have gotten to the free throw line, should have gotten to the free throw line a lot more. Um, they were getting there nonstop. They turned up their defensive pressure. And you know what? It probably took us out of some rhythm in sorts. And we, as much as we maybe try to turn up our defensive pressure, we fouled too much. And I want to go back and look at the film because, you know, I just think overall the game and just watching it in live um, was, to be honest with you, hard to watch at times. You know, it really was. But, you know, the, the, the thing I'm anxious to see you know, because, you know, the stoppage. I mean, just some of the consistency on the fouls. Okay. You know what I mean? That was my thing is just the consistency. I'm fine. You know, I'm not I, I very, 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 very rarely argue a call for another team. But right. when our guys are getting fouled, you know, um, I think that's, you know, I'm going to try to fight for them. Um, but I think the free throw was a huge, huge, huge factor in the game. And listen, it's been two games in a row. You know, DeMar obviously got fouled the other night against them. And I think the two-minute report will come out and say he crossed the line. And I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'll apologize. But at least what I saw on film, it made it hard for Patrick to block him out because he was certainly across the free throw line before the ball hit the rim. And if that's the case, it's a violation. And my question it would be is, who's looking at that? And again, if I'm wrong, then I'll apologize and say I was wrong. Right, but right, right. It, if that's what the rule is, then clearly we're going to see that in the two-minute report. 
And, I mean, at the same time, the two-minute report. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It's, no, it's like, right, you right. know, we're sorry. We're sorry. But not sorry. But it could be three games in a row now. It could be at Washington. It could be the, the other game, and it could be this game. And that's unfortunate because um, I thought our guys battled and competed. And, again, we have to control what we can control, Joe. I mean, honestly, like, I'm not going to – you know what? we got to block out better. Regardless of the situation, we know they're going to miss. You know what? We got to go in there and get it done. Um, you know what? Whatever it is in, in the last game, we got to we got to overcome things. I'm just a big believer of that. Um, I think a lot of times you can look around and look at what everybody else is doing wrong, and instead of looking at yourself and what we can do better ourselves and what we have control over. So there's clearly a lot we can do. do, do. So I'm not going to dwell on on that too much. I'm going to dwell on more of okay, what did we have control of? And certainly one thing we had a control over is we could have gotten that basketball at the end of regulation. And and two, I think we could have not fouled as much. Last thing for me, then, uh, you've talked about the fouling a lot this year, that that's been a major problem. How do you get them to stay aggressive defensively, what you want, but understand there has to be a limit? You can't just keep fouling guys and making life easier for guys. I mean, what's that, that, that high wire you got to walk to get those guys to do that? I think the, that we got to get better from a physicality standpoint. And what I mean by that is when the ball's coming, you know, at the basket, we cannot slap and reach and try to deflect um, because we get a lot of those fouls and some of these high level scores, they're great at kind of putting the ball out there. We're going to have to go vertical, put our chest in place or take charges and show our hands. And I think there was just too much of this on, 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 on a lot of plays that. We don't need to do that. Like, worst case, you know, make them finish the shot, you know, instead of fouling. Uh, and it's hard, you know, when a guy's coming downhill like that. But I think we've got to be more physical at the basket, either with charges or verticality as best we can.